Hi guys, it's Ellen again. This week we're going to be making a pinwheel or a windmill, whatever you want to call it. Okay, make them small or as big as you want, as colourful as you like. It's super, super easy. I'm going to do a rainbow one. Okay, now to show you the tools you're going to need. The tools you're going to need for making your pinwheel are going to be a pair of scissors, a pencil to draw your lines on, one pin that can be a any kind of pin, a push pin or a pin you find in your sewing kit. Next you're going to need a pencil with a rubber on the end. Doesn't matter if it's old, new, just a pencil with a rubber on the end, that's important, and a ruler to draw out your lines. And of course your piece of paper. And I have painted on mine. So on to the next bit. Here's my piece of paper that I painted earlier. Now we're going to cut it into a square. So I'm going to use my ruler to measure out how big it is. Now I'm going to follow that line, I'm going to cut it into a square. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, there we go. We've got our rainbow square. Now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do some lines on the back. So I need to get diagonal lines across so I can mark the, the centre. So I want to get right in the corners and make a big X. Here we go, I'm going to mark my middle bit, that's where my pin's going to go. So now I'm just going to do some little dots, little f make a square around my circle. See, a square. This is where I'm going to cut to. Now next I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to follow these lines and stop at the marks I made. And again, Again, go. Now you should have four loose pieces like this. Now I'm going to flip it back over. Now I'm going to quickly mark a little dot where I'm going to put my pin through. So you want to do a dot on the left side, this side, on each triangle. Just got another dot, another dot, and another dot. There we go. And what we're going to do is I'm going to use a pin one of my pins, I'm going to push through and then I'm going to get through to my other dot. Be careful with these pins because they're going to be sharp so if you need help ask for some help. So we're meeting all the corners that we just put dots on to the pin. 